Snap camera is disappearing on January 25th. So what alternatives are there to replace it? I'll show you a free option today and tell you if I think it's a worthy replacement. Hello my YouTube friends! The app I want to show you today is called Animaze. It's totally free to use and there is a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. So let's install it! Alright, here we are on the Animaze install page and there is a link down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Of course it does say try Animaze free over here on the left. And all you have to do is click on that button right there and you'll see it downloading down in the bottom left hand corner. Once it's finished downloading we just have to go to our downloads folder and double click on it and we'll get the license agreement. We just have to click I agree and then next to select the folder you want to install it to. Then we click install and after a few seconds it's done installing. We can check the box that adds the shortcut to our desktop and just click finish and it's all installed, sort of. When we double click it on our desktop, it's going to bring this up right here and obviously we have to install Animaze. You can also install the Animaze editor if you like. For this video, I'm just going to install Animaze. So I just click on install Animaze and it takes a couple of moments. But once it's finished, it's just going to pop right up. And all you have to do is click start. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Now we have it installed. Let me show you how simple it is to set up and use. Once you click on the start button, it's going to bring this up. You can just click OK and then OK. Starts out with the little doggy here. On the right hand side you can see that my face is there and it has a bunch of little dots on it. Probably the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click that little calibrate button under your camera. I didn't actually do that and they do function slightly better when you actually calibrate it. But for now I'm just kind of looking through the avatars. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the avatar and it takes a moment or so for it to load. And you can scroll through these and there are quite a few. All you have to do is click on one. It will load it up. And of course it comes up with tips and stuff all the time to let you know how to do different things. You can actually adjust the skin color on these, ear size. There's all kinds of little things that you can do to adjust these. And we'll scroll through and take a look at another one. This one's kind of interesting. And we've got some anime ones, a whole bunch of different anime ones. So let's start out trying to mess around with this. We can go into props and add different props to it just by clicking on the prop. And who wouldn't want an axe hat once in a while? And you can get rid of the prop just by clicking on that little circle with the line through it. Or you can just click back and don't save and it will go back to just the regular character. There are also lots of backgrounds that you can select to put behind your character. And when you finally have the character selected that you want, all you have to do is click the little button down here. We'll actually bring up a tutorial if you want to watch it. But setting this up in OBS is fairly simple and straightforward. So all you have to do is click on here and this little countdown box comes up above it. So we'll pop open OBS real quick. And all we have to do is under our scenes, click the plus and we're going to go ahead and add a video capture device and we'll just call this animes. We drop this down and we select the animes camera and there we go. Drops right in. It doesn't have any background right now. So what we're going to do is go back in here. We'll go to our backgrounds and I'm just going to scroll down and select the green screen background. Go back over into OBS, right click on our animes camera and go to filters. Then I'm going to click the plus and we're going to select the chroma key right here under effect filters and that will remove the background and we can move this obviously around anywhere we want. We can make it bigger or smaller. It's very simple to manipulate this. Now I'm going to flip back over and what I'm going to do is go ahead and click start calibration. We'll calibrate it up and see if that gives us a little better movement. And it kind of does, but it's still pretty deadpan. And let's look at a couple of other ones here. This one here is totally deadpan, even after calibrating it. There's this one here, it's kind of cute. And what I can actually do is go ahead and click on the plus and add a background image. And we can put her in my regular background. And they look pretty nice, but they're 
even with the calibration, they just don't have very much life to them. Now I'm absolutely sure you can hotkey these to change them around while you're streaming and all that stuff, but that was as far as I went with it. I can explore it further and do a full video on using it if you guys want, just let me know in the comments. I personally won't be using it though, which is why I just stopped there. So why won't I be using it? For me, it's pretty simple. Keep in mind, this channel is about live streaming, not having fun on Zoom calls. With Snap Camera, when I put on a mask, it's me in a mask. It shows my emotion, my expression, and it adds to my personality. When I put on a mask in animes, it's not me. It's a stiff, lifeless character that completely replaces me. Now, maybe that's adequate for folks looking to do VR avatar streaming, but in my opinion, it's not. It's just a lifeless face with barely any movement or expression. The novelty of the character wears off really quickly. Now, maybe it gets better in the future, but for now, for me, it's not a replacement for Snap Camera. I want something that enhances my stream and my personality. Animes just removes all that with a deadpan, lifeless character. Now, of course, this is just my opinion, so let me know what you think in the comments down below, but in the meantime, I'm gonna continue to search for a suitable snap camera replacement. Now, Nutty did a video on a way to keep your snap camera around for a bit longer, and I'm gonna link that in the description below if you wanna check it out. And if you wanna see how to create awesome stinger transitions for your live stream using free software, you should check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.